The next award is for the Country Music Album of the Year. This award is to the artist, but there will also be a plaque later for the producer. The albums nominated are Best of Merle Haggard, Performer Merle Haggard. By the time I get to Phoenix, Performer Glenn Campbell. Divorce, Performer Tammy Wynette. Gentle on My Mind, Performer Glenn Campbell. And Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison, Performer Johnny Cash. The winner is... The album of the year, Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. Tie the wax, get through the wax, rip the ribbon. Single of the year, Harper Valley, PTA. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really hadn't planned the speech. I'd just like to say that God, God bless everybody that had anything to do with it. I love all of you. Special thanks to the CMA, my producer Shelby Singleton, manager Paul Perry. I love you all. I'm here to introduce the winner of the best country female performance and one of the five nominees for the record of the year. The song, Harper Valley PTA. Harper Valley's that place where everybody rings each other chimes. You know, something like a country painting place. Here, singing the song is the very lovely, very talented Miss Jeannie C. Ryder. The next two presenters have created many sensations. The first, a lady who created one with a hit song, which is now a hit movie, Harper Valley PTA. And the man is my favorite country singer. Boy, can he sing. Would you welcome Miss Jeannie C. Riley and Mr. Ray Price. Ray, am I ever glad to get to be here at the very first fan-voted country music award show ever. Well, me too, and uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, the fans, those of you here, and watching us at home. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here, right? That's right. <laughs> Say, Ray, there's five fellas who are just dying to know who's going to be the most promising male vocalist of the year. Well, you know, uh, the nominees are... Rex Allen, Jr. And there's Mo Bandy. Also Johnny Paycheck. And Eddie Rabbit. Don Williams. <laughs> and you tell them who the winner is. All right, I nearly got a peek while I go a little early. I unwrapped this thing, but I didn't see it. Folks, it is Don Williams. Thank you. All right, everybody, get 
ready. Here's the beautiful and lovely Miss Jeannie C. Riley. And also the beautiful and lovely Mr. Porter Wagoner. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you. And we're here to present the award for the best gospel act. Yeah, and I'm glad to get to be your partner, Porter. Thank you, Jim. The nominees are the Blackwood Brothers. Right. Also the Blue Ridge Quartet. And Hee Haw's Gospel Quartet. Miss Connie Smith. J.D. Sumner and the Stamps Quartet. And your favorite gospel act is... Oh. Miss Connie Smith. I think you did that for Jeannie. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I, I'm not a, a gospel act, but I sure love the Lord and I appreciate how good he is to me. And I, this is kind of a little confirmation because I've just uh, recorded my last country song and I've just finished doing my last country concerts. And uh, we'll see what the Lord has in store from here. Praise the Lord. <laughs> gentlemen, the beautiful Miss Jeannie C. Riley and Warner Brothers recording star, my buddy Con Hunley. Well, Con, I'm just especially delighted to get to present this award. As you know, gospel music is becoming more and more popular every day and gaining new fans. Well, you know, I'm an old fan too, Jeannie, and uh, I was born into kind of a gospel singing family. In fact, my grandfather was uh, an old time preacher man. And around our house, there's nothing but good times, foot stomping and hand clapping. That's gospel music, That's all right. It. Beautiful music about the greatest story ever told. I better get on with the nominees, though, because I could talk about that gospel music all night. The nominees are... The Blackwood Brothers. <laughs> the Carter Family. Lulu Roman. J.D. Sumner and the Stamps. And B.J. Thomas. And the winner is... I get to say... Take it away, Judy. The Carter Family. Accepting for the Carter Family will be the Statler Brothers. We're gonna... We accept this for the Carters tonight who, who can't be here. They're very close to us. We worked with the Carters for many years with Helen and June and Anita, and of course, Mother Maybell. And I would just like to say, they're not in their absence, that the impact that Mother Maybell and her family made on country music these past 60 years, I know will be felt for hundreds of years to come. And in honor of her, we accept this for them, and I know the girls would be moved if they were here. I thank you for the Carters. To present the award for Duet of the Year, we have two people who have joined the growing list of country artists turn author. They're both written very successful books. I might mention the fact that I just finished my own book, but now thanks to Roadhog, I will have to change the title to The Life and Times of Ray Clark. <laughs> or split it with uh, Roy Charles. 
Would you please welcome Tom T. Hall and John, Jeannie C. Riley? All right. Thank you. Hey, I want you to tell me something, Tom. In your book, did you happen to mention my name? Well, no, I can't tell you that, Jeannie. You'll just have to read the book. You know how that goes. Oh. Well, I won't tell you that I mentioned your name on page... Uh, no, it was in chapter two. Wait a minute. No, it was on... Under the picture. Oh, on listen. page... Uh, Jeannie, I know you have a book called From the Harper Valley to the Mountaintop, and I'm going to buy a copy. Great. Well, that means I'll make more money then. Right. Sell more books. And there's nobody I'd rather get to present the duet of the year with than you, and the nominees are Rex Allen Jr. and Margot Smith. Mo Bandy and Joe Stampley. Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn. George Jones and Tammy Wynette. Louise Mandrell and R.C. Bannon. And the winner is I suppose it's written here. The duet of the year, Loretta Lynn and Conway Twitty. Do you get Loretta's too? Yeah, I'm going to take Loretta's too. She's not here tonight, I don't think. Uh, this is about our sixth or seventh award from Music City News, and I know I speak for Loretta when I say again that this is one of the most important awards because it's the only one that I know of where the fans get a chance to express their opinions, and that's why it means so much. And we appreciate it again. Thank you very much. To present the award for television show. And may the best show win. Thank you. This is for luck. To present the award for best television show as a television and recording artist, Mr. Jim Stafford and a lovely lady who not only cuts hit records, but also writes hit books, Miss Jeannie C. Riley. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Stafford and Jeannie C. Riley. Yeah, and we're gonna get to present the fans' choice for the best TV show of the year. Present? I thought we were accepting. Huh? Jim, you know we don't have a TV show together, so what did you think I was doing here? I thought you might be the award. Ah, oh, that's right. <laughs> but now, let's really get down to presenting the award for the best TV show of the year. Okay. Uh, the nominees are Austin City Limits, produced by uh, Terry La... La uh, Terry and his friends over at PBS. Terry McConnell. <laughs> Loretta Lynn, The Lady, The Legend, produced by James Lipton for James Lipton Productions. Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell Sisters, produced by Sid and Marty Croft, Jack Regis for Croft Entertainment. And PBS Live from the Grand Ole Opry, produced by Elmer Alley and Bob Boatman for PBS. <laughs> and an evening with the Statler Brothers, a salute to the good times, produced by Jim Owens for the Jim Owens Productions, and, uh, wait a minute, there's Media, uh, uh, in association with uh, uh, Statler, uh, Unts uh, Productions. <laughs> I Unts. couldn't have done better. Unts, or maybe it's Unts. I get to do it, okay. and the winner is... Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell Thank you all so much. Our help. Well, first of all, Marty Croft couldn't be here tonight. And, uh, and Jack Regan. Yes, and I know they're watching. And I, they couldn't be any more excited than we are for another. I know they're thrilled, and in fact, they prepared a tape just to say thank you to all of you at home, uh, and, and we wanted to play it should we win, and they, they said they had it. I want you to know we're real lucky to have it, because I found out Earlene mailed it, so. 
If they have it, you know, they can play it, okay? I want to tell you all a story about a Hopper Valley widowed wife Who had a teenage daughter who attended Hopper Valley Junior High Well, her daughter came home one afternoon and didn't even stop to play And she said, Mom, I got a note here from the Hopper Valley PTA well, the note said, Mrs. Johnson, you're wearing your dress is way too high. It's reported you've been drinking and running around with men and going wild. And we don't believe you ought to be bringing up your little girl this way. And it was signed by the Secretary Hopper Valley PTA. Your surprise when Mrs. Johnson wore her mini skirt into the room. And as she walked up to the blackboard, I can still recall the words she had to say. She said, I'd like to address this meeting of the Harper Valley PTA. Well, there's Bobby Taylor sitting there, and seven times he's asked me for a day. Mrs. Taylor sure seems to use a lot of ice whenever he's away. And Mr. Baker, can you tell us why your secretary had to leave this town? And shouldn't Willa Jones be told to keep her when the shades all pull completely down? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also, click the subscribe button if you want to be notified of any new videos or content we post. You can also find us on Facebook by going to Jeannie C. Riley, PTA, JCR.